Mic test. Mic check. Test, 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 test. You can? I did before, yep. Can you hear you? Yeah, it's a little bit soft. I'm gonna uh, make it louder. Is it here or here? Uh, so, right now, the volume for me is pretty good. Um, if you need it louder, yeah, you might just want to adjust your headset. Yep, there you go. Does that work? A little better? A little bit better. You have it turned all the way up? Yeah. All right. If it's still not loud enough, you can adjust. The volume for the rest of the people in the plane is this one right here. That's the intercom volume, right? So if I turn this up like that, see how it gets louder? Right? For me, that's a little loud. And I can turn mine down if you need it up there, but um, otherwise, then the radio volume is this one. Does that yeah. make sense? Or this one, depending on which radio. Can you uh, turn it a little bit? A little bit louder? Yeah, go ahead. Set it where you need it, and then I'll adjust mine. Okay. Is that better? If I turn mine down. Slightly better. Can you hear me? You can hear me, right? Yours is pretty good, right? Yep. All right. So let's start. Uh, radios are on. Okay. Com one, com two. Transponder set at one two oh oh. Heading in the uh, with the compass. Hey Warren. Yeah. So radios and GPS on, right? Okay. ASOS, AWOS, What does it say? Check. Check. So for checking ASOS, oh, what does that have to mean? Put the, this you want to check the weather, right? Yeah. So let's monitor the ASOS for a minute. Remember how we do that? Temperature minus zero seven Celsius. So if that's too quiet, you can turn it up like that. Minus zero niner Celsius. Altimeter three zero five seven. Remarks. Density altitude minus two thousand six hundred. Iowa City Municipal Airport, Iowa City, Iowa. Automated weather observation, 1356 Zulu. Wind, 120 at 03. Visibility, 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, minus 07 Celsius. Dew point, minus 09 Celsius. Altimeter, 3057. Remarks, density altitude, minus 2600. Iowa City Municipal Airport, Iowa City, Iowa. Yeah, I thought that was weather later. Yeah, I forgot. 1356 oh, okay. Zulu. Wind 120 at 03. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus 07. That's 300. Dew point minus 09 <laughs> Celsius. That's weird, so density it's too altitude strong. minus two thousand six hundred. Right. Yeah, three hundred knots is Iowa very City deep. Municipal <laughs> Airport, Iowa City, okay. Iowa. Got the weather? Automated weather observation one three five. We got the weather. Yeah. Yep, you can shut that off. All right, so transponder. Which one's the transponder? That's right below the ASOS. Oh, there you go. Does that say twelve hundred and altitude? Yeah. ALT. Okay. Heading indicator. Doesn't seem right. Oh, it, it is. And then as the airplane warms up, the RPM creeps up a little bit too. So I'm, I just keep pulling it back a little bit to keep it at 1200 as it warms up. Taxing light on, All heading right. indicator, check with compass, flaps retract, brakes. Do gentle, gently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, as we're taxiing here, we can check the directional gyro and the turn coordinator. Make sure they both work, right? Because okay. this this one did not work on our last flight, right? So we'll be able to see if it's working now on when we taxi out. To make sure. All right. Okay, where are we headed? Hold on, hold on. Where are we headed? Probably one two. Twelve. We can use one two, but the wind is only three knots, right? If you look at that steam. 
It's hardly moving over there, right? Pick on you to seven. If you want, we can go up there uh, by the by the intersection of the taxiways and look at the windsock. Okay. And if the windsock's hanging straight down, I say we use runway two five. Two five, easier, yeah, faster strike. It's closer and it's a bigger runway with more emergency landing options. Okay. On the other runway, that one is the, is supposed to be the calm wind runway that you use if the wind's calm. Yeah, but technically we use uh, what do you call that? Clear really right. Yeah, uh, I had. I just want to make sure the wings. Yep. Sounds good. I'm just looking. We always look before we pull out onto a taxiway to make sure. The, yeah. No traffic coming. What was your question? Sorry. Uh, technically, we use uh, one two. We reduce the power matter. back to thousand so that we're not. Technically, we use what? We use uh, one two. If let's say there's a flight examiner, right? What do we do? Um, if if you were on a check ride, yeah. Uh, I would say like today. If you wanted to use two five, you should explain why. Otherwise, yeah, you can use one two. That makes sense. Yeah. If you explain to him that that it, the wind is three knots or less, which is essentially calm, and clear left, clear right. Okay, yeah. good. All right, he's crossing the taxiway up there, but he should be crossed um, soon. Um. You explained to him that runway 25 is longer and it has more open areas off the departure end, so that would um, give you more options in the case of an engine failure on takeoff. Then he would understand why you'd use 25. Three knots, it's not a tailwind, it's more of just a crosswind, so that's uh, not that, um, not that strong. Look at that steam, it's almost going straight up. See the steam coming off of this building here, off the furnace? Smoke. Slow down just a bit. Going a little bit fast, there you go. All right, clear. All right, there you go. And we'll pull off in the run up area. Yeah. Or it's the, actually the hangar area, but in case anyone comes through that's ready to go, then we're not blocking the taxiway. Pull up like that. Yeah, go ahead and stay over here. That way, if somebody comes through here, they can still get through too. Is that good. you do that if you were the only pilot in here? I probably won't do that. Yeah, but you need to be able to reach the rudder so that you can push them all the way down if you need to, right? Yeah. So before you start the plane, when you adjust your seat forward, after you get in, right, make sure that you can push the rudder all the way down to the to the floor on each side, right, before you start the airplane. Does yeah. that make sense? And then if you, if you absolutely needed to move your seat now, right, you can use this park brake. So oh, pull yeah. it out just a little bit and then swing it down, and then right there, see it click? Okay, go ahead and let go of the brakes. That. 
Well, if I do a run up, I still keep my toes in the brakes because this doesn't always hold. But it is, it's like a park brake. Does that make sense? Good to know, thank you. Yep, and then to release it, you just turn it back sideways. So swing the handle up horizontal on the park brake. All right. Uh, you want to go to the next one? Passenger and sit back. Upright? Alarm is going off. Oh, okay. Damn it. All right. Uh, doors and windows locked and closed and locked. Okay. My my side's locked and latched. Flight instrument. That. Check. Two. Quantity. A little bit low. Around 680. That's a little elevation. Okay. Um. Mixture reach. Fuel selector wall both. Elevator trim set to take off. Throttle 180 RPM. 1000 RPM. Hey, make sure we're not blasting anyone right behind us. Yeah, I checked that. Okay, all right, good. Vacuum is green. What's that? Suction, suction gauge is green. Okay. Engine instrument. Looks like oil is at the green now. Everything uh, looks good. The ammeter looks at zero. So it's, the battery is charged. Ammunition panel, there's nothing on the ammunition panel. Throttle idle for three seconds. Okay, now back to... Uh, um, 1200 or so if we're not... 1200? 1200, yeah. Yeah, the oil temperature is coming up slowly. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's friction lock. I think that's good. I like it. Uh, nav and GPS. We don't need that, right? If we're staying in the pattern, not necessarily. Turn it on here. Autopilot off. Blank over here. All right. Flaps fully retracted, landing light on, strobe light on, mixture full reach. Okay. It's been 18 minutes. What? It's been 18 minutes. Ready to go? Yeah. All right. But uh, start rolling up towards the tack, up towards the hold short line, right? Okay, you've got left rudder, you need right rudder. You're gonna have to go that way, there you go. There you go. And then, uh, we, this line right here just divides the hangar area from the taxi area, right? Yeah. So just make, making sure you look both ways. All right, okay, go ahead. As long as you look, you don't have to stop. You gotta be looking all the time. And the hold short line up here is the red one, right? Just that red sign? Yeah. Okay, there we have to we have to make a call. Go ahead and reduce power to thousand here for taxi. If you're ever having to ride the brakes a lot when you're taxiing, yeah. that means you got the power too high, right? Okay, all right. Final clear. Hey, you can't you can't roll out there. I like to give myself a little bit of room. Oh, you don't want to go too front up. It's not like a stoplight um, at a 
at an intersection with cars, right? If you cross that, you're actually on the runway. Even if you accidentally cross it a little bit. At an airport like this, it might not seem like it matters. At a control tower at airport, they get pretty upset if you, if you cross that before you're cleared to take off. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay, so we always, uh, we got to check traffic here, right? What's what you looking for? That's the thing where you check for it. Controls? Did I miss it? It's on the run up. Like controls, free and correct. We did not do that. I mean, check that. So, bring it all the way back, you looked that it was up, right? Now you go to the right. There. Back to neutral. Good. So, what I recommend doing is when we do this run up, put your thumb on each item that you're checking. Then after you do, don't move your thumb down to the next one until you finish that, right? So, doors and windows. Okay, locked, locked. Locked and locked, right? Okay. Flight controls. Now I can, you know, now I can do that one. Okay. I can't move my thumb down until I did that. So I just use should tell you can like check it off. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Is there any traffic on final? All clear. Okay. So what's our plan? Uh, we're gonna do the flight patterns, right? Traffic stay in the traffic pattern. Okay. So what will your uh, takeoff call sound like? So it's gonna be um, Iowa City traffic eight five nine zero Papa. Skyhawk eight five nine. Skyhawk eight five nine zero Papa, taking off on runway two five. Remaining on pattern. Iowa City. Iowa City. Yep. Iowa City traffic, Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa, taking off on runway 25, remaining on pattern, Iowa City. Perfect. Okay, we'll make one last look. All right. Okay, so we get out here on center line. What do you want to do? Job. All right, we want to check something before we take off, right? Where do we look outside? Stop. Always glance at the windsock, uh, right? That windsock? Yeah. Like we got a. It's almost calm. The windsock is hanging straight down. So. Not much of a crosswind. Yeah, so that's what we'd want to. We don't have to uh, adjust anything, right? We don't have to hold an aileron into the wind because there is no wind. So. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Engine oil's in the green, right? Temperature. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We always want to make sure that that's in the green before you take off. And then when it's cold, go ahead and put your toes to the bottom of the rudder. When it's cold, you sm smoothly advance the power to full, and if it doesn't cough, then it's warm enough. Okay. Ready? Full power, full power, there you go. All right, keep your hand on the throttle. Keep your hand on the throttle. Oil temperature is flickering, it's not in the green, okay. There it is. Fire speed's coming alive. There you go, okay. too much. There you go. Good job on the rudder. Okay, so... I, I'm going to make a turn right now. 
All right, so before we turn, we look, clear right, clear forward, and clear left. And then, uh, why are we turning that way? Oh, left then. Yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, you stay on the south side, right? On the downwind, there you go. Turn until you're perpendicular. And clear right, clear left. Go ahead and turn downwind, right? There you go, go ahead and reduce the power. Good job. There you go. Nobody else is coming in on downwind. Should, should you make a call? Yep, when we get on downwind here, you can make the call that we are Left downwind, 2-5. Alright, do you see which runway it is? 2-5. Uh, yep. Go ahead and make your call. I was to the Skyhawk, 8590, Papa. Left downwind, remaining on pattern, I was city. Is that right? Yeah, you say left downwind 2-5. That's the, is the important five. part. Okay. I want to say the Skyhawk 8590 Papa. Left downwind 2-5, remaining on pattern, Iowa City. You don't have to say remaining in pattern. You just say left downwind 2-5 for now is all you need to say. That's good. All right. Very descent. Very good. Okay, and then you got to get slowed down a bit, right? Just hold that nose level. Very good. And now that you're slowed down, you can do what? All right, because you're below 110, right? Yeah. Good job. Okay, now you can let that nose down, right? See how it's wanting to climb? You don't want to climb. You just want to get slowed down. So after you put those flaps in, you're going to increase lift on the wing, right? Then you can let that forward pressure go, and it'll stay right at 80. See that? Perfect. Good job. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. No one's coming in on final. Okay, so we're a little farther out here than normal, right? Yeah. Might need to add some power then, right? We're going to have to glide a little bit farther. There you go. Right about there. Leave it there for now. See what it does. And I would not add any more flaps yet. All right. Okay, clear right. Clear right. On final. Clear right. Left. You see how you didn't quite parallel the runway? You were angling away from the runway on downwind a little Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, we don't want to overshoot the front runway now, right? Should I make a call? Um, yep. Wait, did I say on final base? Runway 25? What are we on now? This on is final. on final, yeah. I was at the Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa on final runway 25, Iowa City. Good. Hey, what's our airspeed? Okay, um, our speed's at uh, se about 70. So that's good. Okay. Um, you put, put a second knot to flaps in, probably, right? Looks yep. like we well, looks like we're back to glide slope. I see that engine, or see the runway threshold? Yeah. Is about a, about a third of the way up in the window, right? That's about where you want it to stay. We're going to stay at 70. Okay, we're just a bit high, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. So what can you do before you change the power? You can add flaps, right? We want to be full flaps anyway. All right. Okay. Now I see that threshold starting to sink down in the windscreen. See that? Still too high. Though. Yep. So we're still getting too high. There you go. Reduce power. Let that nose down a bit too. So we stay at 70. There you go. Looks like we're going to have that threshold made. You can ease the power out just a little bit more. Just a little, yeah, not all the way, but. Okay, and then now we want to go power to idle, right? Go ahead and level out. Okay, just hold it, hold it level. Hold the nose off, hold it off. Don't balloon, you just got to hold it level. There you go. Okay, bring the nose up. There you go. There you go. All right, you're stable. Go ahead and go flaps up. Push 
power, yep. Right rudder. All right, there's 55. Gently rotate, right? There you go, nice. All right, I, I'm going to make the bend right now. Okay, cl are you clear first? Left clear, forward clear, right clear. All right. Good job. You having fun? Yeah. Dude. It's easier when the air is smooth, isn't it? No bumps up here. Okay, perpendicular to the runway. Yeah. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. No one's coming in on downwind, right? No one's entering the pattern. That's what we're looking for at this point. There you go. Go ahead and turn downwind. You only want to fly wings level for a second or two on the crosswind so that you don't get so far away. Probably that. Hey, don't turn past 20 degrees really on the pattern either. See that? You were at about 35 degree bank angle. There you go. All right, so we're on the downwind, and this time we're going to parallel that runway, right? We don't want to go out there. We want to go that way. Does that make sense? That's parallel. All right, you can make a call that we're left downwind, 2-5. Iowa City, Skyhawk, 859, Sierra Papa, left downwind, 2-5, Iowa City. Everything looking good? Yeah, power set's good, your altitude's good, airspeed's looking good, right? And we're tracking downwind, right? If there was a crosswind, we just want to have a heading that kept us par tracking parallel to the runway. Hey, uh, uh, Derek, on final base, uh, on base, right, can I do the radio again? I'm going to reset your heading indicator. Okay, yep, go ahead and start your descent here like normal, right? Okay, power to 15. Hold that nose level for a bit. So we slow down. Okay, now our airspeed's coming down, right? You can go ahead and put your flaps in. Uh, yeah, it's on 110, so I'm gonna put the flaps on. Yep, and now you let go of that back pressure, right? Yep, it's See gonna that? pull itself up. And it's, it's a lot smoother then, you're not going like this quite as much. Okay, don't turn yet. Just hold your heading, right? Downwind heading, if the runway is 2.5, downwind heading is runway 7. See that? Yep. If there's no wind, and there basically is none. Okay. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Clear left, clear forward, clear right. All right. Go ahead and turn base. Then you can make a call that uh, 859 Sierra Papa, left base, 25. Iowa City Skyhawk, 859 Sierra Papa, left base, 25, Iowa City. Okay, you got to use the point of your finger to press on that mic. It was cutting in and out on that on that transmission. Okay. Okay, it's final clear. Final runway on to the right, clear right? Yeah, it's clear. Clear right, okay, there we go. Okay, we're in the white arc, you can put your second octa flaps in, right? Oops, done too much. You're all right, okay, watch your airspeed. What's it, what's your airspeed doing? Too low. There you go. Okay, what do, we, what do we need here? What are you, what are you seeing happening? Uh, we're gonna land in the trees or we're gonna land on the runway? Okay, yeah, that's power. Add some power. Yep. Add some power, man. <laughs> you got to see that right away, okay? Yeah. Do you think I should move it back to 15? Are we back on the glide slope? We will eventually, right? Yeah, so you, I, would, I would stay level, right? Basically, we leveled out until we get back on the glide slope. There you go. Now we got a glide slope again. Just start a descent and go full flaps. We're in the white arc. Okay. What do you see happening to the runway? All white. It's too high. Don't look at the, at the lights so much. Just look at the runway. See your threshold? 
Are we going to be able to land right at the threshold? Probably not. Okay, so what do you got to do? Keep going, pop it. I mean, are you going to land or? Not going to land. Okay, then go go around. Full power. If you're not going to land, decide right away. Go full power. Full power. Full power. Yep, that's full power. There you go. Now flaps to 20. Right away, right. Okay, there you go. Now flaps to 20, right there. Yep. Now just climb out. Get a positive rate of climb going. You just put the panel right on the horizon like you normally do, just like that, right? Okay. All right, now you can go, uh, if we're above 60 and we're climbing, you can go flaps to 10 and make a call. Iowa City traffic, Skyhawk 859 or Sierra Papa going around. 25 remaining in pattern, Iowa City. I couldn't land right just now. Yeah, because you weren't watching your glide slope. Okay, now flaps all the way up for above 60 and we're climbing. Good. So if you're not on glide slope, if you're not stable, it's going to be really hard to land, right? You got to be looking for that glide slope right after you turn final, right? Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear left. Let's go ahead and turn crosswind. Your left, your right, your forward. All right, so I, I want you to get used to just looking at the runway and not using those glide slope lights. Okay. Just looking at the runway. Yeah. So that, how do you know if you're on glide slope if you don't have lights? Because not all the runways have lights, right? You know, if that threshold that your aiming point is, stays about right here in the windscreen, right? It doesn't go up or down, then you're on glide. All right, go ahead. Do your descent like normal, right? Four miles to the northeast. Well, that was just <laughs> Okay, what are we doing here? If we're descending, how do you get configured? Look left. <laughs> do you just reduce power, oh. or is there more to do? Uh, go flat one. Okay. Once it's underneath. Right, whoa, now we're on a roller coaster. Oof, uh, put the nose down a bit. That's where if you slow it down a bit first and then put the flaps in, it's not quite as as uh, much of a roller coaster. We should be turning now. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and turn left. Okay, make your call that we're left base 25. Iowa City Skyhawk 859, Sierra Papa, left base 25, Iowa City. Okay, is final clear to the right? Final is this way. Final clear to the right. Final clear, don't see any planes. Okay, all right, yeah, we're on base. Right. Are we in the white arc? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's start turning, right? Gentle turn. Hey, don't go past 20 degrees if you can. You really don't need to here. There you go. There, look at this. This is looking a lot better. We're still a little bit high. Okay. There you go. And make your call. Final 2-5. Iowa City Skyhawk 859. Sierra Papa, final 2-5. Iowa City. All right. You see that? See, if we're at 70, right, your nose isn't going to change pitch, right, if we stay at 70. So if that runway moves up and down in the windscreen, that means we moved on our glide slope, right? Notice how that threshold's moving like this? Yeah. Okay, what's that mean? Too low. Okay, well, so what do you got to do? Yeah, you don't wait for me to tell you that, okay? If you see that, you have to react, okay? Well, if I'm not in the plane, you're going to hit those trees. That makes sense? Don't wait for me to tell you. This is called dragging it in. That's really bad. Still all right, though. Yeah, it's because we got low. Okay, here's the center line. Idle. Well, once you got the runway made, are we going to land? Start reducing the power back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, don't let that nose smack the ground. There you go, hold that nose off. There you go. 
There you go. Okay, go ahead and go flaps up. And full power. Full power. Okay. Clear right. Clear left. Clear yep, forward. Clear, clear left. left. Turning left. Okay, wings level for a second, clear right, clear forward, clear left, nobody coming in on the downwind. All right, let's turn downwind. Okay, no more than about 20 degrees bank angle in the traffic pattern. Right now you're at 30, see that? There's 20, there you go. On the slow traffic, uh, Scott 740 Delta on downwind, room 815, I'm on the road. There you go. Good job. Okay, you can make your call. Left downwind, 2-5. Iowa City Skyhawk 8590 Papa, left downwind 25, Iowa City. All right, coming up on the beam point, right? So when you reduce your power, go ahead and pull it down to 15, hold that nose up. See how that nose is dropping? Nose wants to drop, hold it up about right there, and your airspeed's going to start coming down, right? Perfect. Now you can put flaps in, we're below 110. Yep. I usually put it in between 90 and 100. Now let go of the back pressure, let the nose down. See that? And the whole thing is just perfectly smooth. And you're right at 80, which is where you want to be. Because next time we need to put flaps in more, right? It need to be in that white arc. Yeah. So 80 is perfect. Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear left. Nobody's coming in on final. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can make your call, left base 25. Iowa City Skyhawk 8590, Papa, left base 25, Iowa City. Good job. Okay, final is clear to the right. Left here. White arc, call left 20. Here. Right here. Left 20. Final. Okay, so just looking at that threshold. Let's leave the glide slope lights on. Look uh, at that threshold. If we're at 70, uh, there's a certain angle that the nose is at 70 knots, okay? Okay. And can you keep it at 70? Okay. Yeah. If you keep it at 70, see how that threshold is about right there in our windscreen? Okay. It's about a third of the way up to the top. If it starts to move up like that, that means we're sinking. See how it's moving up? It's moving up, right? So that means we're sinking below glide slope. You want it to stay right in that same spot the whole time. Does that make sense? Okay. Iowa City, Skyhawk 859, Sarah Papa, short final, 25, touch and go, Iowa City. There you go. All right, power to idle, right? We gotta, if we're gonna land, okay, whoop. There you go, just hold it level. All right, there you go, hold it level, bring that nose up a bit. As it slows down, now you can bring, start bringing that nose up. It's not gonna fly anymore. Bring that nose up, see that? See that, there you go, see? Good job, okay? Stay on the center line, okay? Full power, there you go. Good job on that one. We got a little low on final. 
Um, but you landed it okay. I want you to be able to see that if we're staying at a certain airspeed, that means our nose angle's not changing, right? Because in order for our airspeed to change, we have to change our pitch of our nose, right? So if that all stays the same, but our runway moves up and down in the windscreen, that means we're getting off of glide slope one way or the other. That makes sense? If the runway moves down, that means we're going above the glide slope. If the runway moves up, that means we're getting below the glide slope. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Clear right, uh, clear forward, clear left. Oop, 20 degrees bank is plenty. All right, there you go. Level out for just a second or two. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Turn down wind. Okay. You want to climb a little higher? Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Go ahead and add some power then. That's okay. All right, level out on your downwind here. Don't forget, forget to do that. We don't want to get too close to it. And then, uh, there you go. If you're a little low, that's okay. Just add some power back in there and keep climbing so you don't get slow while you climb. Okay, make your call, left down wind. I was at Skyhawk 8590 Papa, left down wind on 25, I was ready. Okay, there's pattern altitude, right? She can. And we're basically a beam, right? Almost. But yeah, go ahead and do it here though, because most of the time people wait too long. Okay, reduce power to 15. Hold that nose up, right? See how the nose is dropping? Hold it level for just a second. Watch your airspeed come down below 100. First not to flaps. And then let that nose down again. Let go of that back pressure. There you go. See that? Nice and smooth. Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear left. See anyone on final? Nope. Okay. And you notice how when you do that, that way, uh, with uh, pitch in the in the fl flaps, we're right at 80 knots. You see that? That's right where we want to be for the second uh, second notch on base. Yep. Hey, okay. double check. Final is clear. You're right. Make left your, here, forward here, right here. Make your call left base two five. I was at Skyhawk eight five nine zero Papa left base two five. I was at Okay, and start turning the final. Okay, so now, do you want to, this is actually looking pretty good. Do you want to see um, what it's like to do a forward slip? I'm going to leave this, we're high a little bit, right? Not yeah. too bad, we're just a little bit high. Okay. So I'm going to add some power in to make us high. Okay, then you're going to do, so you're going to take a forward slip. Alpha 5, 2,700 and not the pattern work. Iowa City, Sky, K59 or Sarah Bob, a short final, 2-5, touch and go, Iowa City. Okay. So so, you're going to take over, right? Um, you, you take the controls, okay? I'm just going to leave it like this. We don't want to do slips with a full flap, so I'm going to leave it at only two notches, okay? okay? Okay. So our nose is off to the left a little bit, so that means we want to use right rudder now. Okay, so go ahead and pull the power to idle. And use full right rudder, full right rudder, and left aileron, left aileron. So that, that keeps us over the center line. See that? And look how fast we're coming down. Yeah. See that? Okay, now go ahead and straighten out. And land it like normal. Pull that nose up. Okay, as it's slowing down now, it won't fly anymore. Bring that nose up now, it won't fly. See that? Bring it up, bring it up. There you go. Full power. Full power, yep. Keep your hand on the throttle. Right rudder. Oh, gentle, there you go. Okay, use that nose up. Nice. And that's called a forward slip to land. You use it to lose altitude. That's the one I saw in the YouTube video. Okay. I 
Iowa City, Skyhawk Niner Sheriff up, upwind 25, remaining in the pattern, Iowa City. Left clear, forward clear, right clear, yep. turning left. So as long as as long as you're still climbing, I would leave the power in full. You're, I mean, you're okay now, but don't start pulling the power back until you're on pattern altitude. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Turning. Coker traffic helicopter two five alpha two mile left base one five Makoka. Okay, there's pattern altitude. All right, no more than about twenty degrees in the pattern, right? There you go. There you go. I'm gonna make my call. Yep. Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa, left downwind 25, Iowa City. Okay. Alright, so we're on the downwind, right? What heading do we want to be so that we parallel the downwind? Uh, seven, right? Runway about, about a heading of seven, right? Right now we're on a heading of about 80. There you go. Do you want to do the slip, power slip again, if you don't mind? Uh, we can. Okay. I don't want you to get used to doing it, though. Actually, let's not. Oh, Does that okay. make sense? But we'll, do, we'll do it another time, but today I want to see you do a normal landing. Okay? Okay. All right. We're a beam. Reducing power to 15. Okay. Makoka traffic, 2 pop out for the final one. Okay. Five, Makoka. See how fast we're diving? Got to yeah. hold that nose up. Yeah. When you reduce power, don't let that nose drop. Otherwise, your passengers feel like they're on a roller coaster. They're like, who is this guy? Can he even fly? <laughs> Sound good? Whoop. Okay. Oh, don't don't, uh, don't, don't let, this. let the nose down. Once you put flaps in, oh, then you yeah, let it down, cool. right? Yeah. Otherwise, we're on a roller coaster. Okay. Clear right. Clear forward. Clear left. Turning right. Turning left. Okay. What's your power setting? I think it's too low, though. Might need just a little bit of power, yeah. 1400 is probably good. Okay, spinal clear. Clear to the right. There's a left. Get forward, clear to the right. Okay. In the white arc. Left base 25. Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa. Left base 25 Iowa City. Okay, are you holding the yoke? Yeah, I should let Why? it go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, okay. All right. Overshot a bit, not too bad. Okay, you need to make a call. I was at this. Uh, Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa on final runway 25 Iowa City. Hey, what do you see for lights? Looking not okay, too bad, right? This is good. Still yeah. we're at 70, right? Yeah. If we don't change the angle yeah. of the nose, see where that, that line is where that we're aiming for? Yeah. Okay? We don't want that to move up in the windscreen. It's moving up just a little bit. I would add just a, just a touch of power. Just a little bit. Yep, there you go. Yeah, we were getting low. Okay, and then add full flaps. All right. All right, then once we have that threshold made, you can start easing the power out. Whoop. Yeah, don't chop it all the way. Just ease it out slowly, right? Cause You're gonna level it? Level it, yep. Level it. Hold the nose up. Hold that nose up. Back, back, back. Whoop. Back. There you go. See that? See how you can land on the mains after it gets slow enough? Keep that nose light. Keep that nose light. Flaps up, yep. Right rudder. Your right rudder. There you go. There you go. I want you to keep that nose off on your own, okay? Make sure we don't set down on that nose wheel. You have to slow down first, right? But you notice how once it keeps, once it gets slower and slower and slower, you can keep bringing that nose up and up, and it won't fly anymore, right? Clear 
right, clear forward, clear left. Turning left. All right. Okay, so we're doing 105 knots, right? You can bring that nose up a little bit. We'll keep climbing. Okay, level out on our crosswind. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. No wind on downwind. All right, there now there's your pattern altitude, right? Now you can let the nose down and reduce power. What's your bank angle? Okay, traffic helicopter two five alpha right base angle? one five. My oh shit, yeah, thirty five. This uh, right at on pattern altitude. I was here is Skyhawk 8590 Papa, left down wind on runway 25, I was here. Okay. What's your downwind heading? Probably about right in there, right? All right, yeah, I'm base, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, Reduce power. Run. Okay, hold that nose up, right? Reduce power. There you go. Hold that nose up a bit. Door stay level. That's gonna slow us down. Okay, okay now down, down below 100, flaps, yep. Push okay, down now, nose, let, right. let them come in a little bit first, and then you can, you can kind of feel them flaps coming in. And then push right? down or just let it go? Just, just let it level out, stay level, yep. Okay. Try to keep it smooth for your passengers. It takes a little bit for the flaps to come down, and then you, as it comes down, you can let off that back pressure. Okay. Clear right, clear forward, clear le left. Final looks clear, right? Yep. There was a jet that landed here the other day when we were flying, and they didn't say a thing on the radio. They just come in and landed. Wow. So that's why you got to look all the time. Okay, final is clear. Clear to the right. All right, we have the white arc, throw a second notch, 20 degrees. Okay, okay I'm going to turn final. Okay. Make your call. Start. I was City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa on final runway 25, I was City. All right, looking pretty good. What's our airspeed? Press a little bit fast, right? You can bring that nose up just a bit. Flaps would also help. Flight angle is good. I mean, glide slope is good. Two, two rate, two five. Yep, two white. But watch that threshold, okay? We're okay, at, okay. we're at, we're a little slow. Let that nose down, okay? But that that threshold's moving up, right? That's yeah, power. I'm gonna add some yep. power. Okay. Okay, go ahead and get on center line. All right, I think you got the runway made. You can just ease it out, don't chop it. Ease it out, out, back, there you go. <laughs> Subconsciously just keep going faster. Yeah, I'm gonna level it out. All right, you're not at idle. There you go, now you're at idle. Now it's gonna land. Holds it. Hold the nose off, hold the nose off. Hold the nose off, hold the nose off. There you go, there you go. Just keep that nose light, just like that, see that? Uh huh. The nose never even touched until just now. That's perfect. Flaps up. Okay, good job. When you're coming in to land... Yeah. Uh, bring that nose up a little bit. We'll keep climbing at about 80. When you're coming into land, um, don't chop the power all at once. You can just kind of ease it out. Ease it out. Does that make sense? Ease it back uh, until you're up, yeah. until you're all the way back, and then it'll land. Right. Okay. If you chop it, the airplane kind of starts to sink a little bit drastically. To your left. To your forward. To your right. Turning left. All right. The reason um, I'm, I don't want to be too slow. You know what I mean? 
On final, you mean? No, because traffic too bumping out for right. But do you base. notice like how long we okay. float and float and float? Yeah. So if you're too fast, it just won't land. You're gonna float all the way down the runway before it stops flying, right? So that's yeah. why you don't want to be too fast either. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Yeah, start a, clear start right. a gentle turn downwind, about 20 degrees bank. And here comes your altitude. You can start leveling out, right? Reduce yeah. your power. There you go. The next one, uh, I'll do it all by myself, and then let me know if I'm making a mistake. Okay, what do you see out the front? Still high on the there you go. Okay, left downwind. Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa, left downwind on 25 Iowa City. Right on beam, I'm gonna reduce power. To 15. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put the first notch up flat, and then it's gonna go up. And push it down. Then now I'm gonna do my left turn. Yeah. There you go. Not too much, 25. Oh. Monocle traffic, guys, 740 okay. zero delta, uh, left face. One left here, I'm forward here, down. right here. I'm gonna make a left turn. Okay, what's our altitude? Too low. See these buildings here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, go around. Go around. Full power, yep. Full power. Yep, we can't be this low to these houses. See how, see how low we are? Yeah. Yeah. All right, flaps uh, are at 10, that's okay. Leave them there for now. I'm gonna try again. Iowa City, Skyhawk 859, or Sierra Papa's going around 25, Iowa City. Okay. okay, so now when we go around, we always step to the just to the right of the runway like this, okay? This is called uh, crossing the field. What's that? Crossing the field. Well, on the upwind, if you're going around, you always sidestep to the right. Does that make sense? So you can fly, like, so you can see the runway. Okay. All right. We're going 115, but we're not quite at pattern altitude yet, so bring that nose up. Let's climb a little bit. There you go. There you go. There's pattern altitude. Okay. Level out. Clear right. Clear forward, clear left, we can turn crosswind here. Iowa City, Skyhawk 859 or Sierra Papa, left crosswind, 25 remaining in the pattern, Iowa City. You always gotta be looking at that runway when you're turning. Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear left. Okay, right. Coco Tavern, I got your five pop off is right midfield. Okay. What is midfield? That means you're crossing the field? Uh, midfield means uh, that, like, coming up here in a bit, we're going to be midfield, left downwind, right? Because we're in the middle of the runway, approximately, right? Okay. So right about here is midfield, right? We're midfield, yeah. left downwind. So.
Okay, ready? Alright, my method being, I'm, I'm gonna read this power to get my Alright, airspeed. Airspeed. What's airspeed? Let's try to level out, right? See, we're, we're, we're sinking on down. If you just stay level when you reduce power, then it uh -huh. slows you down. Now flaps. Don't trim. Flaps. Okay? Because now, now I'll go ahead and let go of that back pressure. Now you got the nose a little too high because you trimmed. Yep. That got that nose down a bit. We want to be at about 80 right here. Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear left. 740 Delta, left downwind, 1 5. Come on, Delta. Did you say Iowa City? No, it's uh, Monticello. Why do we get Monticello's traffic? Because everyone shares the same channel. I don't know why they do it that way, but... Alright, I don't want to get too low. Okay. I'm going to put some power in. Okay. 15. Yep, sounds good. Okay, we're in the wet arc. Yeah, I'm going to put one more flap. Yep, go ahead. Alright, clear right. Clear, clear left. left. Yeah. Let's start turning final. Okay, round it out here. Don't turn the lights on either. Iowa City, Skyhawk 859 or Share Papa, final 25, Iowa City. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, we're a little fast, so bring that nose up to about 70. Okay, this is looking good. There's 70. Yeah. See where that threshold is? The Not the end of the runway, but the actual threshold. The the At the beginning of the runway? Yeah, where the numbers are, right? Okay, that should stay about right there in that windscreen, right? Okay. From your view, my, I guess I'm a little higher than you. Somebody cranked your seat down. I don't know why. Yeah, you're looking good, right? Yeah. Okay. Still feel too high, yeah? No? You're looking good. You can go full flaps if you want. Or in the white arc. Going full flaps. Okay. Everything's looking good, because we're not landing on the runway, we're landing up there. You can start easing the power out real slow. Once you got the runway made, right? That? Level out. Not quite yet, we're a little high. We're right about here. Hold it off. Hold it off, hold it off. Don't let that nose hit. Just hold it level. See, this is why you don't want to be too fast. Hold it, hold the nose up. There you go. Let that nose down. There you go. Flaps up. Full power. Okay, right rudder. I bring that nose up, it's gonna fly. Okay, go ahead and bring the nose up to the horizon. I think your seat's a little low. Do you mind if I crank it up? No. I'll go. do it on the downwind. Make sure you get your seat adjusted so it's the same height every time. Does that make sense? Yeah. But on your pre-flight, that helps you get a better view out the front. Just so it's the same angle every time. I don't want to shake your seat when we're climbing out like this, but I'll do it on the downwind. Just to be safe. Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear yeah. left, turning left. All right. There, see how see how good, well that approach worked last time? It helped when you added power back to 15, right? You need about 1,500 yeah. RPM. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Clear forward, clear right, turning right, turning okay. left. And I'm going to adjust your seat up. Okay. Keep your scan going. Keep your instrument scan going. Yeah, I gotta keep your instrument scan going. Scan through all the instruments. There you go. Okay, see that grain elevator? That's about how far away you want to be on downwind. Otherwise, you don't have enough room to turn base. That's where, if you only do 20 degrees bank in the pattern, that puts you about at the right spot, right? Otherwise, you're too close. Like right now, we're a little too close to the runway. 
It's too it's too tight to get the turn made to final. We can we can extend the downwind and then try to turn. Um, you can just angle over this way a bit, and okay. that'll help. Right about here is perfect. All right, that'll get us out a little bit. Iowa City, Skyhawk 859 or Sierra Papa, left downwind, 25, Iowa City. Okay, we're a beam. I want to be descending here, not... Okay, reduce the power. Hold the nose level, hold the nose level here now. Okay, there you go. Leave it at 16, because it'll slow down. Okay, now our airspeed's coming down. Flaps, 10, okay. Just wait a little bit on letting it off. Okay, there you go. Now, see how smooth that is? Yeah. Nice. That clear fault. Fault clear. Right clear. I'm gonna turn left. Alright. Okay. As soon as we come around, try to be looking at that runway. Oop, oh, we're not quite far enough yet. There you go. Yeah. See, this is the runway, so you want it off your left wing, basically, right? Now we're on base, okay? In the white arc. Flaps 20. Okay, clear final. Iowa City, Niner Sierra Pop, left base, 25 Iowa City. Okay, watch your bank angle. Okay, see that threshold is kind of high? Yeah. But we're a little fast. You can bring the nose up a little bit. We ought to slow down to 70 here, right? There we go. Looking better. Okay. Full flaps. And then uh, right in here, we can slow down from 70 to 65, right when we're short final like this, right? There you go. Good good correction. We're getting a little high. All right. Hey, you notice how we're angling a little bit to the left? We have a left cross, so you need right rudder and left aileron. This is a side slip. There you go. There you go. We're a little bit high. Let it down just a bit. There you go. Here's flare. Hold it level. Hold it off the ground now. Hold it off. Don't let it touch the ground. It's lava. Okay? It's lava. There you go. Nice. See that? Want to do one more? Yeah. Okay, flaps up. Are you on the brakes? Slide your toes. Yeah, you are. Slide your toes down. Don't ever use brakes on takeoff. There you go. It's hard because normally when you land, you use brakes, right? So when you're doing touch and goes, you got to be real careful not to use them. That makes sense. Normally when you land, after you get down, you're going to start using the brakes. But you just got to be careful on touch and goes. That one was pretty good, wasn't it? Did it feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, clear right, clear forward, clear left. Turning left. Turning left. All right, let's make this in our last one. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, here's the runway, right? Yep. Right, clear forward, clear left. Turning nice. left. All right. See, so notice how if you use this as your runway, right? You can use this uh, peg right here to know if you're at a right angle on your crosswind, right? And same with your base. Hey, okay, don't turn too steep. Only 20 is enough, right? Otherwise, we're really close to the runway, right? Yeah. That means we'll have to make steep turns on our base and final. We don't want to do that. You don't want to be too far away, but you don't want to be too close either. Right about a mile is perfect. 
Right now we're about 0.9 miles from the center of the airport, so that's perfect. All right, left downwind. Iowa City Skyhawk 859, Sierra Papa, left downwind, runway 25, Iowa City. Okay, we're a beam. Increase power. Hold that nose up, right? Don't let that nose drop. Power to 1500 or 16, somewhere in there. That is good. Okay, and look at that. You're holding the nose up, so our airspeed's coming down. That's perfect. Leave it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Don't let that pitch change. Okay, now, now first notch of flaps. That's now it'll take them a bit to come out. down. Now you feel that? Yeah, let that nose down. down. Okay. There you go. And the whole time it's smooth and for your passengers, like the airliners, right? They always were caring about how their passengers feel. Otherwise, they're going to think you're a bad pilot, even if you're a good pilot. If you can't make a smooth ride, it don't uh -huh. matter, right? Clear right, clear forward, clear left. All passengers care about is a smooth ride and a good landing. The rest of it, you could be the greatest pilot in the world, but that's all the only part they care about. So. Iowa City traffic system 901 for Zulu, Texas, runway 25, Iowa City. Okay, we're in the white arc, second notch. Don't pull that, go keep that yoke up, right? Iowa City traffic Clear location 93, Victor Romeo is on a five mile final, runway 25, Iowa City. Any traffic in the area, please advise. All right, Iowa City, Skyhawk 859, Sierra Papa's left base turning final 25. We're about a mile and a half final. Touch and go, Iowa City. Okay, okay, we'll slow it down there. We're about uh, four miles out now, three Victor Romeo, thanks. Wait, are we, I thought this is our final. Uh, he just said his citation was five miles final, right? Oh, so we gotta. Uh, we cannot stop, right? Yeah. Do you want to do one more touch and go? I said full stop. Do you want to do one more? Okay, let's Then go we'll on. be out of their way. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. So, uh, we're a little bit fast. That's okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna increase the nose a bit. Yep, just gently though, right? Definitely. You can also add flaps, right? That'll help you slow down and descend. Okay. And now, um,. Okay. But looking pretty good, right? We might be just a bit high. Okay, you could probably start reducing a little bit of power. Just a tiny bit, though, right? Just a tiny bit. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. See that? See how that Iowa makes City enough of a difference? We keep coming down. Medivac 93, Victor Romeo, three mile final, runway 25, Iowa City. And Iowa City, Skyhawk 9 or Sierra Bob, short final, 25, touch and go, Iowa City. And Iowa City, 914 Zulu, holding short, 25, we'll wait for the uh, jet to land, 914 Zulu, Iowa City. Okay. Three Victor Romeo, thanks. There you go. Okay, hold it level. Don't let it touch, don't let that nose touch the ground. There you go. Don't let that nose touch the ground. Oh, gentle, gentle. Okay, now hold it off, hold it off. There you go. All uh, right, flaps up. Okay, stay on the center line. And full power. Keep that aileron into that wind. We got a little bit of a left crosswind. There you go. There you go. And Iowa City, Skyhawk, Niner, Sierra Pop is upwind, 2-5, remaining in the pattern, Iowa City. Should we extend? Iowa City, traffic citation 93, Victor Romeo, mile and a half, final 2-5, Iowa City. Um, All right, so they're a mile and a half final behind us. Should we extend anything? Uh, no, we'll be fine because they'll be landed by the time we uh, by the time we come around. So just like normal, if we need to, we can do a 360 off of the downwind for spacing, right? Clear right, clear forward, clear, clear left. left. Oh, yeah, right, turning left. All right. Okay. Don't turn so steep. 20 yeah, degrees is uh, enough. Yeah. Right about there. Yeah. Okay, and then just keep it climbing. There you go. Clear right, clear forward, clear left. Left, right, forward, turning left. Just do a gentle turn, downwind. You're doing a lot better today on the landing part than we were last time. That flare just takes practice, right? You gotta feel how much lift is left in the wing as you're slowing down, right? You keep bringing that nose back. That takes practice. There's the citation that landed. See him? Yeah, I see that. And Iowa City Skyhawk 859 or Sierra Papa's left downwind 25. Uh, we'll uh, let the Skyhawk holding short get out. Iowa City. Iowa City traffic citation 93, Victor Romeo, 
Tornado clearing 25. Iowa City traffic, Cessna 914 Zulu departing runway 25, westbound departure. Iowa City. There's another plane down, right? Yep. He's taken off, he just said. We can start a descent like normal. He'll be gone by the time we get there. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, he's going to be gone for sure. Okay. Slow down a little bit and then put your flaps in. Hey, it takes those flaps a little bit to come down. Setting base. Exactly all right, Ken. Come on. Okay, then watch that runway come around here, right? You can't see it with that wing down, right? Yeah. Keep turning. Okay, final looks clear. Clear to the right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, white, right, white arc. White arc. Flaps 20. First level of flap. And go up. left base 25. Left base 25. He's climbing out already, so just say left base 25. Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa, left base 25, Iowa City. And this one will be to a full stop. Sound good? Yeah. Iowa City traffic system 914 Zulu departing to the west, Iowa City. Okay, so start looking at your airspeed. 75, not too bad. Uh, we're just a bit high, right? So you can add, don't use power yet. Make sure your flaps are full first, right? Okay, all right, now you can start reducing power a little bit if you need to. Yep, I'd say pull a little bit out, because we're a little fast as well, right? Yeah, that's how I'm trying to pull my nose up. Yep, you probably reduce power a little more. That. There you go. Okay, stay on center line. Notice how we have a little, you can bring that nose up just a little bit so we can start slowing down power to idle. I think we got the runway made. Notice how we have a cro left crosswind. Use right rudder to bring that nose straight and then left aileron to stay on center line. Just a little bit, just like that, right? Okay, hold that level out. Oh, not quite so much, not quite so much. Hold it level here, we go, whoop. Yep, there's a sweet spot right in there. There you go. Okay, now hold that yoke back just like that and gently brake. Uh, we can roll all the way to the end. You can go flaps up now. What do you think? That's good. I like it. I think I learned a lot. So the I've been watching the video, right? The last time I did this, I watched it like twice. It's two hours long. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I not watched it. Give us it, a little uh, bit of power here. We'll get up the hill. Sorry. So it's all dark, right? So most of the time I just listen to the audio while driving. Okay. Are the classes done up in Cedar, up in Marion? Yeah. So yeah, hopefully today we get some good video of... The actual, like, looking out the front, right? You can see that on the camera, too, hopefully, right? Go ahead and slow down here just a little bit. Oh. All right, good job. Clear the runway. Yeah, I think today we'll get a lot of uh, good video. Okay, you can make a call that we're clear of 2-5. Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa, pay off runway 25 you're Iowa not, City. You're not pushing the button. Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa City Skyhawk 859 Sierra Papa, pay off runway 25 Iowa City. Good job. Okay, so after landing check, right, you put your flaps up already. The other things that the checklist says is uh, strobes off and landing light off. So we don't blind the other airplanes. Okay. And then uh, mixture lean for smooth operation. In the wintertime, you usually leave, just leave it full rich. That needs more fuel in this cold air. Okay. Up here, we're going to cross another runway, right? 
It's possible that somebody could be coming in to land, right? Yeah, it's not going to make okay. a call. So look first. Look, clear right. Clear on the left as far as we can see, right under the wing. Clear to the left on this other runway. Yeah, I'm going to slow down a bit. Okay. And then before we cross the runway, let's turn our strobes back on. That way we can be visible. Okay, and then make a call crossing 1230 on Alpha. See the sign? I was city Skyhawk 859 Sarah Papa crossing 1230 on Alpha. I Good job. I was city. Okay, now they know, right? Yeah. And we looked. All okay. good. Okay. Yep. Keep going straight. And then once we're off the runway, you can turn your strobes off again. You mean taxiway? Yeah, once we're onto the taxiway. So now we're off the runway, right? We just crossed that whole short line. Yeah. So now we're off of this other runway. You can turn your strobes off. We always turn the strobes off once you leave a runway because at that point, you don't need other planes to see you as critically as you would on the runway, right? And we don't want to blind. Like at night, if we taxied in with our strobes lights on, the pilots in that jet would get blinded by them. So you want people to see you on the runway or in flight, but then when you're not on the runway, you don't want to blind the pilots. So it's just a it's a courtesy thing, really. If if you leave your strobes on, sometimes another pilot will chew you out because they can't see. <laughs> I th I've had that happen to me once, but usually they're friendly about it. They'll just say, "Hey, man, turn your strobes off." They don't like it very much, and neither would you. So we can follow this taxiway light right here. So I'm slowing down because it's only the last time I turned too fast. Yeah, good. You remembered. This is perfect right here. Airplanes can't turn as fast as a car can, right? Otherwise, they'll tip. The wing will hit the ground. That's why when you land, you got to slow down straight ahead before you get slow enough to turn, right? Even if your taxiway is coming up, get slowed down first and then turn. Even if you got to turn back. Do you think we should park? Um, I'll park beside the Bonanza here. Their tie downs there. Uh, careful the wings. Let's park the same way as the Bonanza. Yep. So just split the gap in the middle, right? Looks like this line right here is about the middle. We got about two spaces each way. Stay left. Stay left. Right here on the center. There you go. See that? Okay. And there's no tie down ropes there. Blocks. I don't have chocks that I can see. Um, that one, right? We could tie that one right there. Yep, looks good. That'll be into the wind, right? Yeah. I thought the wind is coming this way. Okay, stay on the center there. There you go. Right about here. And shut down.